Many reasons why to tune in to Chocha on Saturday night. Obviously, five fans are eager for April 22nd to get here. Um, Tank against Ryan Garcia is the talk of the town, not only within boxing fans, but just across the board. How eager and excited are you for, you know, for April 22nd to get here and obviously, you know, for have five fans get those pay-per-views that, 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 that... Look, it's it's one of the highlights of the calendar, and yeah. I, I think it's, um, I mean, there, there, there's, there's something extra special, and look, we, we, we've had some big Wilder fights, we have some big Canelo fights, we've obviously had the, the big Mayweather fights, you know, bigger than anything else. But there's there's also a sense of uh, I think part of the excitement is this these are this is a, a new matchup these are younger guys now Tank's been headlining pay per views for a while but this is sort of this is fresh blood at the top of the division this is putting nothing against you know the guys that are established I get as excited to see a Canelo fight as anybody else but by the same token like having this kind of matchup with young guys in the division it's just you know it's fresh and new it's what boxing fans really like about the sport is discovering new guys seeing them rise to the top and then you know seeing how far can they go yeah. and that's that's the real question is how far can can Tank go how far can can Ryan go you think this is a matchup you know as far as like whoever wins obviously Ryan or Tank but they could open up the floodgates to see how many Munguia fight on Showtime to see him take on you know perhaps a Charlo to see other matchups that five fans want to see yeah I think look each fight is its own negotiation so you know, it, it's not always the same template. Um, so, like, it's not like we can say, hey, you know, let's do what Ryan, you know, what, what Tank and Ryan did, um, and what we did with the zone, and just duplicate that. But by the same token, sure, yeah, it does set a precedent. It is possible. We have some foundation for how to work together. Um, but I think, you know, more than anything, I think it is. It's the the time that we're we're in. You know, and I, what I mean by that is. You know, we've had a lot of new people come into the sport the last few years. And it is from a brand and strategic perspective, you don't come into the sport, this is just my opinion, I don't know their strategies. But from what I've observed, you don't come into the sport looking to share everything with anybody else. Like you're trying to make a name for yourself in the sport and it's sort of like, hey, I'm putting my brown out. I don't want to water it down by working with anybody else. I need as much as possible on my platform because I'm trying to build an audience. Now we've been here for almost 40 years, you know, and we've shown that we we can and will work with other people, whether it's different promoters, whether it's working with HBO way back in 2002 on, on Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis, or working with the UFC, or working with HBO again on Mayweather Pacquiao, and, and counts of other examples in between. So we're, we're comfortable doing it, you know, as long as the business makes sense. And, you know, hopefully this will show, you know, some of the newer platforms that, you know, it's not the end of the world to sort of show some flexibility once in a while. Yeah, we've seen Canelo 